love of precious stones and a passion for jewelry design. Sigismondo Capriotti, specialized gemologist and designer, gives his jewelry an innovative style. The lines are clean, elegant and minimalist, but at the same time, take pleasure in the precious and amusing detail. His jewelry is a way of being and feeling, a means of expression. He inherited his professional experience from his father, an important figure in the field of goldsmithery, as a wholesaler for companies in the Vincenza and Arezzo areas. He inherited a fascination for precious stones. I took a course in Rome at the Italian Gemological Institute and specialized in gemstones, a passion that I had cultivated for a long time. I began with the stones. Then I started working the material that goes best with gemstones, gold. That was when I began my career. The source of his creativity is the precious element par excellence, the gemstone. The jewel is defined by the imaginative and tangible decisions made, particularly when the designer's ideas are backed by the skills of the gemologist. When you choose a colored stone, you already have the jewel and combination that is the type of gold you intend to use in mind. With an amethyst, you might make an old-fashioned jewel in Victorian style, so with burnished gold, grayish with black diamonds, and thus a really antique look. If you use rose quartz instead, you immediately think of something very fashionable, very pink. So with pink gold, pink sapphires, tone on tone, very delicate, very feminine, very trendy, because pink gold is really popular at the moment. Jewelry design evolves from the eternal tradition of made in Italy to international experimentation. The allure of the incredible color, the seduction of the new tones of gold. Contemporary fashion is also overturning the canonical demands for quality and absolute purity in a stone. The latest trends are pink rose, diamonds in absurd colors, colors that used to be rejected because they did not correspond to given characteristics of quality and purity or color. Brown diamonds, yellow diamonds, but a very pale yellow. Fresh or super precious fashion accessory jewelry has always been a style compliment. Luxurious, exclusive, personal, nowadays it is also the fruit of a new desire for self-gratification. There is a desire to gratify one's work, one's activity, one's lifestyle, purchasing a jewel that above all is absolutely beyond the cliché of the gift, of the jewel that is forever, of the jewel linked to a given episode in life. And secondly, it must express your lifestyle, which is always linked to what you wear, to what you show on the outside. The tendency is to match the outfit to the jewellery, then the jewellery to the outfit. Jewellery is increasingly seen as an accessory, as if it were a bag, a scarf, a belt. Capriotti's style encompasses the revolutions in fashion, giving shape to his particular concept of jewellery. Striking and amusing, detailed yet minimal. His principal characteristic is to exaggerate the presence of the gems. Large and wonderful coloured stones, with decidedly seductive hues. A fundamental complement of the design proposed by Capriotti is the craftsman's skill in creating the jewellery. The prized technique and the quality of the work, a final and definitive element of uniqueness contributed by the elegant work of specialized staff, such as the goldsmith Mirko Bacelli. The result is collections that enchant with elegance and color, stones twinkling with light, many hued drops, sparkling pave. An impeccable choice of tone-on-tone -tone nuances, soft lines and vibrant combinations. Ring, earrings, pendant, made only with aquamarines, pressed together, held only by the metal claws. On the ring, we can see this enormous curve, exaggerated, formed by all the aquamarines and dotted with small diamonds, where the allure of the diamond next to a colored stone exalts the colors. Then there is another collection that I am particularly fond of. The concept started from the earring, an earring with drops of color, drops in colored quartz, from pink to brown, and then black onyx, white agate, purple amethyst, lemon yellow, orange citrine. Another collection has a much more floral motif, centering on these little flowers which are all made by hand in yellow gold. Once again, we have a set composed of a ring and pendant earrings. 
The technological revolution of 3D rendering has had an enormous effect on the relationship between the craftsman and the client, opening up a range of opportunities for interaction and cooperation. The reality of the finished jewel is a complete and faithful version of the original concept. Using a CAD program, I can make jewels in 3D, giving them a very realistic rendering. The possibility to make a jewel in 3D as if it had actually been made. In fact, in recent years, we've seen what we could call a breach between what jewelry used to be and what has been made since. We have moved on until we reached a rendering that is 99% faithful to what the piece will look like. With this rendering procedure, we've been able to reduce costs and it is more satisfying because clients are happy with their purchase and have exactly what they imagined. Stylistic research and specialist knowledge of precious stones. Craftwork and carefully chosen, elegant materials. Capriotti jewellery offers a pure and fascinating interpretation of modern taste.